Uh, <coughs> hello and welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League Season 2 Playoffs, Week 2. This is the winner's bracket at the moment. This match is between Tiller, coach of the Rebellious Beautifly, and Paco, coach of the Charleston Gastrodons. The Mega Pokemon in this fight are Mega Altaria <coughs> and Mega Alakazam. The Z Pokemon in this battle are Z Any, Sandslash Alola, Z Attack Tapu Bulu, Tapu Bulu Kane. These are both for Tiller. And the Z Pokemon for Paco are Z Attack Obelian and Z Any Ampharos. Cobalion came and Ampharos did not. So, looking at this matchup, it's just like any good fighting type is really, really bad for Tiller to see. But then it gets doubled bad whenever it's Cobalion because Steel hits two of the resists and Neuvern gets hit by it neutrally. So, Cobalion has super effective stab. Versus 5 out of 6 Pokemon on Tiller's team, which <laughs> makes it an indefinite threat. Melmetal and uh, Empoleon do check Lele, but Specs Lele is just so disgusting. <laughs> to the point where it just like doesn't even matter if they resist. It's still a 3 hit KO, really. Um, I think Tapu Bulu is pretty important for Tiller. Uh, Obstagoon definitely is. Facade will kill everything not named Cobalion, and while it does kind of give Cobalion a f somewhat free inning, um, Neuvern can tank one close combat, one Iron Head, and then force it out. So I think a Facade from Obstagoon is enough to two hit KO uh, Cobalion. So that's just really crazy. But, you know. It's really interesting. These teams look pretty stacked against each other. Just, I'd say Cobalion really threatens Tiller's team. And uh, the fact that, on the flip side, Paco only has one normal resist is really, really annoying. So, Bird's Desperation and Tapu Lele. It is me, Tapu. Uh, Focus Blast instantly uh, shreds Empoleon. Forgot to mention Focus Blast. Well, looks like Focus Blast moment. But Hurricane does um, Infinity to Miltank. That's kind of crazy, not going to lie. They're just instant murder here. Dead and dead. Both died. Awesome. Trading kills. What's up? In comes Thunder Uprooting. God. There's no relenting. Blood will be had. <laughs> in comes Toxapex. I, I will, I'm not going to lie. I half expected Incineroar to come in there. They're both weak to Earthquake. And Incineroar can intimidate. <laughs> well. That, that pretty much tells me why. Uh, that's because no one's freaking slow enough to get flinched by it. Uh, Rocky Helmet does just kill Melmetal. Re recover kills. Pretty much everything that Tiller gained in that little span. Hurricane misses. Knock off, removes Life Orb. That's going to be really tough for Hurricane to start killing some guys now. Hurricane does over half and confusion drops. But now Hurricane misses, you know. <laughs> Both sides playing with fire. <laughs> In comes Tapu Bulu, probably scarfed. In comes Incineroar. Does Incineroar beat this? Nope. In comes Obstagoon. Thunderwave. Calm down. What? Okay. You know what? Fine. Bulky Obstagoon. In comes Altaria. Honestly, 
not guts. I'm surprised that this like all games you don't bring guts obstacle units this one, honestly. Uh in comes Altaria. Heal bell goes off. Shoot. That's not good. <laughs> that's not a good look, I should say. Not that's not good. That's not a good look. Parting shot drops the attack. However, I think the uh, speed is really important. Earthquake crits. Does that normally KO or no? Nah, I'm going to assume no. because, Well, actually, Altari is really strong, so it might help. EQ does 58. Haze completely craps out Altaria. Um, I think I would have, if I was, uh, if I was Tiller, I would have chanced an earthquake there, but I don't know. Maybe the Calx just said not. Nah. Knockoff finishes off a Lele. -lay. However, there's an Alakazam imposing right here. So, just focus, focus blast just needs to hit. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, we don't do that. Focus Blast is not meant to hit. And even with the Chopple Berry, it's not living that. Dude, if that knockoff killed, it would have been bad for Paco. Hidden Power, what? I'm not going to lie. I was expecting that to be Hidden Power Poison for it to kill. It's in probably going to hit the field. Yep, Intimidate activates... Nature's Madness. Wow. Fire Punch finishes off. Tapu Baloo Balloon. However, here's the thing. I th There's definitely an oversight here, isn't there? Because if this gets off a parting shot, I would, uh, I would just hard switch here into Pex because I can't kill with Earthquake. I don't know why you would. Now you're forcing the heal bell, I suppose. I still don't know how much I am on that play. Because you get parried. Yeah. I would just go pex. Go pex. Before this thing just okos you. Or use parting shot. Just switch. Hard switch. <laughs> just hard switch. Um... This looks really dicey. Uh, there you go. And that's probably it. Because now you get hazed. Brother. Just kidding. I think that's game one. That's a really bad look right now. Earthquake doesn't even one hit cow. That's actually funny. <laughs> no OK though. And that is game one. And, you know, after game one, always game two. So let's watch that now. Here's game two. Tiller brought the exact same team. Paco brought the exact same team. Okay. Well, my thoughts won't change compared to the last time then. Instant lead, hard mill tank, instantly. Stealth rocks go up, stealth rocks go up. Trading rocks, pretty much. Not not like entirely, but somewhat. Earthquake by uh, cow. <laughs> cow Pokemon goes up. So I, I, it looks like an early game trick. What the? Yes, 11% range. Love me a good old 11% range. Oh, that's kind of funny. In comes Pex on a body slam. On a high horsepower. High horsepower still doesn't kill from here. A burn on Melmetal would be pretty clutch. Body slam. Doing body slam. Uh, lots of hack, hack, hacks, boom, boom, close combat puts down 
a, a jillion, but yeah, defense drop is really bad look. Um, Moonblast finishes off. However, everything here looks really not inclined to fight <laughs> Tapu Lele. Horn Leech does zero. It's Sidorah not paralyzed now because it's pretty high freely. Maybe I'm. Maybe this is defiant. I'm gonna guess it's defiant to deal with parting shot. So yeah, that blocks parting shot pretty much. However, even if uh, ooh, that's a dicey play. If it goes for hurricane here, it goes for defog. I feel like defog was kind of silly. I'm gonna be honest. Because, like, if you go for Hurricane and you hit, then you're making Paco play with Focus Blast. Which is really not, not something he wants to do after last game or seeing how his luck is treating him right now. Parting Shot's going to, yeah, Defiant. However, I don't think it really matters because I think Lele's Scarfed. <laughs> so, a Moonblast would kill. Moonblast does not do much. I think Oxman is AV. Because normally that would do, like, all of the damage. In comes Obstagoon on the double. Thunder Wave goes off, and Ensign gets full parried. Lots of para here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. How do you... Oh, it's Bright Powder... CC to zero. Something's dead because of uh, terrain. Down goes Obstagoon. So in comes in sin. Oh yeah, lax incense, <laughs> lax incense, thunder wave, Obstagoon, the ultimate troll. Parting shot free. Um, I think you're dead. Nothing you can really do about that. High horsepower won't even kill Alakazam at this point. So, no, especially not at minus one. So, that's that's looking pretty much like it. Unless this is Lax Incense. <laughs> Lax Incense guy. Spadef drop. Pretty nice for Paco. Hornleach finishes off, but Psychic from Alkazam will easily clean this. Or expanding. Pro oh! <laughs> and that's game two. Let's see game three. The last game of the set. Determining who moves on in winners. No. No team changes. Again. Again. Well, let's see how this goes for Benji. Earthquake goes off instantly. In comes Tapu Bulu. I'll probably rocks, maybe another earthquake. There go the rocks. It's probably going to go for a horn leech, but it could be Sap Sipper. <sighs> Nature's Madness goes off. Milk Drink is going to be really obnoxious. Horn Leech does 48. You know, I'm not going to lie. That was really, really risky. If this was Sap Sipper, that would have been awful. An awful look. I think we're just going to see some stall. It's just, just a little bit of stall. Nope, it's a... Yeah, just... <laughs> Stall moment. In comes uh, Kobali in to stomp out the horn leech shenanigans. Sword stance goes off. High horsepower misses. Uh, I think no retribution for the lax incense. Not gonna lie, 
<laughs> but, you know, I think, you know, if Flax Incense works, it works. Because it's only going to work four out of five, or like one out of five times. So in comes Bur Bur Bird Dragon. Yes, this is thick fat, 100%. Uh, flamethrower, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, the, the little chip is going to help a ton. Hurricane's going to kill, yeah? Down goes Mill Tank. In comes Lele, who's scarfed, probably. Uh, psychic, nope. A Moonblast takes out this. In comes this. Uh, Tapu Bulu. I'm forgetting everything. Help. Send help. <laughs> it comes in sin on a probably... Oh, I was expecting a nature's madness. I'm not gonna lie. Why are punch coming? Nope. Parting shot. Well... Oh, it's... It's guts this time. <laughs> Or it's scarfed. Nope, it's guts. Uh, in comes Melmetal. I feel like Defiant's better anyways if you are scarfed. Mel Melmetal almost freaking explodes on a Focus Blast. In comes Pex on Double Iron Bash. Goodbye, Melmetal. It was nice knowing you. Not really. Wait, are you dead? Are you about to Earthquake and not... A bounced. <laughs> that 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 was like the ultimate bounce. Well, nothing is threatened by this Mel Metal anymore because Toxapex has it on lock forever and ever. <laughs> so down goes Mel Metal, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Recover. Well, Toxapex is going to make Mel Metal cry. Down goes Thunder Uprooting. And this is looking pretty bad for Tiller. Pretty good for Paco. In comes in sin. Since we know this is not defiant. Thunder wave again. Yes. Well, you're not you're not lax incense, so it's not as toxic. Well, I mean I guess lax incense technically isn't toxic. I'm just saying it's not as annoying as what I should have said. That's a better way to phrase it. Uh parting shot. Drops instantly. In comes Cobalion for free. Cobalion's looking like it's on cleanup duty now. <laughs> These guys are about to eat iron heads for days. Yep. Shookaberry for everyone. Does a whole lot of nothing. Swords Dance goes up. I'm inclined to believe that that first sword, the swords dance should have come first, and then Iron Head, but... Oh well. Iron Head kills. Quite didn't matter. It was a one-hit KO. <laughs> At full from plus two. In comes the goon. The goon eats a lot of punches and dies. Does Altaria meet the fate of an Iron Head? Well, Elma, it definitely does. Uh, I don't think there's much it can really do from this position. Yeah, except for not Mega Evolve and the flinch is going to close it. And that's that, I guess. Wait, did I do these out of order? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. That's it. That's the third game. You, you This can be the third game. <laughs> so that's it. GG both sides. I'm not about to do a full recap because I'm tired as heck and doing all of these is actually sucking the life force out of me. So I just want to record them. Uh, but they're interesting, I suppose. It's just, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to keep rambling. I'll see you in the next one in the future.